Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged Cold Edition. Cold. Yeah, it's getting cold here. How cold is it where you're at? I, I would suspect at least 80% of the people out there are somewhere cold today. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know where you're at and, uh, and uh, how cold or warm it is. Some of you, you know, I'm getting ready to go on vacation because when it gets cold, that's what I go. And it's just about Christmas, which is time for a maker to be done. Before that, I wanted to do this, uh, the review on my laser, the laser that I actually use. And I think that's like super important for anybody out there looking to buy a laser, a diode laser, or whatever kind of laser, try and find a channel that like will use or uses what you are looking at. Because there's a lot of channels out there telling you buy this, buy that, but what do they use? And there are a lot of great markets. We're super, super lucky. There are a lot of really great lasers on the market. I've reviewed a few of them, you know, lately and was using them. I do have a laser business. And so, you know, it's important for me. I can't just mess around and be just using any sort of laser. But any, most any of the diode lasers over 20 watts, 20 watts or above these days are pretty darn good. And I, I feel like we're in a good, pretty good spot when it comes to lasers. But as I said, this is my laser. It's the Atom Stack 40 watt, which is new. <laughs> Atom Stack Craft. And I can truly say that I think this is the best diode laser on the market, period, for what I do. You know, uh, you know, maybe it's not a period <laughs> for what I do, right? And, and so there are going to be exceptions, of course. Some for some people, an all-in-one laser is just not the way to go because they have they want to set it on top of something. They would build their own enclosure. What many reasons? For me, all-in-one has really just made things so much better overall. It's just, you just set it up pretty much and get to work and everything's made to work with each other, right? So it all just kind of, it, it flows so, so much better than a lot of open frame lasers where, ah, maybe the case isn't made for the laser. So you have these problems, yada, yada. So for me, all in one is the way to go. Uh, so then it's a matter of, well, Power, which I think in the past was the biggest issue with the Atom Stack Craft. Now, 20 watts is great, but that's as high as you could go. And, it, you know, for running a laser business, uh, it was a, a 40 watts is just infinitely better because of the speed, because of what, you know, I can run one pass on quarter inch wood and all that. And, I was still using this, even though it was 20 watts. So that just kind of shows you just how much better I thought it was than everything else out there. Now, I'm going to name names. You know, in most reviews, people don't say anything about other lasers, why they're, why they're doing it, you know, probably for the reasons of the manufacturer. But Adam Stack hasn't told me I have to do anything, which is one of the reasons I promote their products. They didn't come in and say, you have to, you know, like X-Tool, they'll come in and say, oh, you have to say all these things. And it ends up being a commercial, really, instead of a review. And Adam Stack didn't do any of that. Uh, they just pretty much sent it to me and uh, gave me some links, which are below, of course. And I would suggest following along, maybe do the link so you can see what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about it. And if you did open up to the link, the first thing you're going to come to is the price, which is probably, you know, I'm going to do positives and negatives, but I will just stay right out front. This isn't one of the cheapest lasers, right? I reviewed the uh, Acemer, which you can watch my review on that one. It's a fantastic laser. Great price, you know, 48 watts. So it's got pretty much everything. What it doesn't have is the bed size that I needed, right? I get my wood from Craft Closet, link below, of course, <laughs> but this is where I actually buy my wood from. And 
it typically comes in 12 by 19. And I typically use three millimeter and six millimeter. My entire business, in fact, I sell uh, um, all of my files, right? A bundle where you can get my purse, my every single thing I do to make my business is in there. And I can make every single one of those. I buy, buy my wood from, this is exactly how I do it. I buy my wood from Craft Closet, 12 by 19 inches. I set the wood in the laser and I all my files are already done. So all I got to do is customize them to whatever store maybe I'm selling them to and boom, I knock them out. That's it. It's a very simple way of doing things. But if your laser doesn't have all of the things it needs to have, well, all of a sudden, I, I, there's, you know, something stopping me from being able to do my business. And so in the past, uh, I was telling everybody to buy the Roly Lasermatic 3010. And still, everybody that bought one of those, amazing. It's an amazing laser. I, I mean, nothing is perfect. There's problems with every single laser out there. But that was the best, I thought, with the XL especially for what I do. So the 12 by 19s would fit in there super easy. I could make all of my files. couple of the downsides it had that the Atom Stack doesn't is the fan was always on. Now the owner, Rolly has since gone out of business for family reasons, not because they weren't selling tons of lasers, trust me. But the, the fan was always on. And it just, it kind of drove me crazy because right now, look, that laser's on, it's making no noise. That, when you're running a shop and actual laser business, just, that's just one thing, you know, that little fly in your ear all the time. And if I'm making a video, I can't have my laser on because it's going to be going, Wah! but whatever. That's one thing that bothered me. I had to clean the lens, you know, daily. And the fan would get dirty and stuff like that. That's another thing the Atom Stack craft I don't have an issue with. Uh, after a couple of days' use, I will, and it's super easy with this one, is to take the module off. You could do it like, you know, instead of taking a couple of minutes to do the whole thing for cleaning, I can do it in literally seconds. <laughs> you know, 20, 30 seconds, I could be done. And what the reason is, is because if I undo the module and I, the lens is always clean, it's like, I think twice so far has I, have I even needed to clean the lens and I've run a whole business for Christmas on this thing. I mean, I have made a ton of things, enough stuff to go for, I'm going on vacation. So it's, it's been just so good. But uh, the first thing I talked about was price. This is more expensive than those other lasers. So there may be reasons why you might buy another laser like the Acer because it it just, you know, it makes more sense for your budget. You know, but if you're going to do like me, you're going to run a business and you want all of these things like I need, then this just makes more sense. So I'm not saying that isn't a great laser. It is. I'm saying, for me, this has everything, and it's worth a little bit of extra money because I can just completely run my business without really having to think. Of course, it has all the modern features, you know, air working in light burn. At light burn, I can turn on and off the, the, the air it's got a great air assist that I haven't needed to do anything or even remember that it's there. It just literally works. Uh, as I said, the, the uh, perfect size, so I can just throw everything in. And as I said, it's the perfect uh, power. Now that it's 40 watts for all of my files and everything I do, the curve size, the, the clean, cleanliness of the cut, the, everything that it does is perfect for the files that I make for my business. It's extremely low maintenance. I said that about, about the lens, which is, of course, a big deal. Uh, I have this blower. Now, this isn't official or anything. I'm not, you know, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but I just kind of, I stick my Allen wrench in the fan to hold it, and then I use this. 
And, you know, then I don't need canned air or anything. These things are amazing. They really come in handy for blowing off the wood after you're done with it. You know, everything. I, I, I do recommend. I should do a video recommending all the little things that I use for my business that just make things simpler and easier. And that's definitely one of them. I mean, it's rechargeable. So, yes, I have glowed about this thing. And, and I really think it is uh, finally the perfect laser. But there are a few things. <laughs> There's always room for improvement, right? And let's get to what those things... I mentioned price, you know, I wish it was cheaper for everybody. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say. They made the perfect laser, in my opinion. So, eh, you know, it's going to be more expensive. I think it just is. But uh, the honeycomb bed, and somebody asked this, and that, you know, because like the Rolly Lasermatic 3010, one of the nice things about it is it does have that fixed raised bed. About one of the only ones in the industry that did that, and it's so great. It's so great to always know where your honeycomb bed's going to be. Now, of course, you can just fix this one in, and then you'll always know where it's going to be. But uh, then cleaning it's going to be difficult. So uh, it's not a fixed bed. I don't move mine, <laughs> you know, except for when I clean it. I can put a line there and always have it go back to that same line or whatever. But i just been busy making you know, I, I just, I got this, what, about four months ago or so? I don't remember. But I've just been constantly using it since because it's, you know, my season. This is my selling season. I need to be working. So I hadn't really messed with it. And it works great just the way it is. But that is an improvement that I think could be done having a fixed spot dedicated that was a little bit raised so you get that airflow, Right that um, could be an improvement if they wanted to do that. Uh, I don't think they will, honestly, but I, that would be an improvement, I think. The case, you know, it's a great case. Everything works fantastic. I've had no issues with it, but uh, I often am sitting here watching videos <laughs> on lasers, usually, or whatever, and, uh, you know, I want to look back and see my laser working. I actually want to see it working, right? And I can't because of the way that the case is made there. You can see I can't see the actual laser, which I suppose is safer. The way that it was on the Rolly XL, I mean, that case is amazing. If I could take that case, but put everything here in it, of course I would change. Uh, I, I actually just loved it, the way that it even looked. But I can't really complain too much. This has been fantastic, and it's just done everything I've asked it to do. Um, the fan. This is with every single laser. I have never seen a laser that had a fan powerful enough with the big enough... Uh, and I'm talking about the exhaust fan here. The, you know, your little computer fans or whatever they use for all of these machines, they're fine. They work fine. But for a business, that's not going to be good enough. So I immediately got rid of that, which I do for every single laser. I use my own. And I actually run the exhaust fan. <laughs> Sorry for all of you that know this so much already. Uh, I run my exhaust outside. And I use a six-inch duct fan. That And so there's no noise in here or very little noise because the fan's actually outside and it sucks the air out of the laser to the outside. And uh, that's the way I suggest doing it. If you can, you may be in areas that are even too cold for that. I don't, I don't know how cold these uh, exhaust fans can go without freezing. Um, but I still have to leave that as a negative because it could be improved, right? Uh Customer service. There, there is no more amazing customer service laser companies. As far as I know, maybe you can leave a comment below if you if you know of one. But uh, there is no like super amazing. There's pretty good, and that's Adam Stack, that's uh, X Tool, I guess, and you know Acer and all these other company longer. They're all good, you know, but they're not amazing. And I think 
Uh, some of you have had issues with Adam Stack. I fortunately have not. Um, you know, back in the day, I got their laser. I didn't like it very much. This is old school when they were um, when lasers were new. But as far as having my lasers break, I really haven't had a lot of issues with Adam Stack. So you know, it hasn't been my thing. But I just think I should put that as a negative that. Unfortunately, there just isn't any amazing customer service left in this world, as far as I know, as far as lasers go. So I just don't know what to tell you. If, you're, if you want to get into lasers, you know, it's kind of somewhat rolling the dice, I guess. Uh, I'm not saying they don't have customer service. Like, I haven't heard to where people can't get, you know, their machines fixed or whatever. But um, it's not super, super easy, like, say, with the Rolly was. Hey, I tried. That was the best nitpicks that I could come up with. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, I'm a bit in love with this laser. It's just been, what an amazing year it's been that I just haven't had to much think about it. And it that's kind of the last thing on my mind is like, is my laser going to do exactly what I need it to do to for me to be able to finish my jobs? And go on vacation. <laughs> and it just hasn't been an issue. Everything's been amazing. Oh, I didn't even mention the autofocus, which on this is fantastic. One button autofocus, like super, super cool, super easy. And uh, again, it's, everything just works so well. I just, it didn't even enter my mind, but I think it's an important thing to mention. So in the end, it gets... Uh, Three thumbs up or whatever I can come up with. Um, super, super stoked, super happy. It's been a great year for me. I know it's been a rough year for a lot of people out there with lasers. I get it. Uh, some parts of my business have suffered, but then other parts made up for it. And I'm going to go through all of the business stuff and and uh, going through my year and hopefully helping everybody else out there because, you know, I love lasers. I want everybody to do well. And uh, however I can help, I'm gonna. Um, I also updated the purse file and made a smaller version so that people can uh, use that on 300 millimeter lasers that only have that much space. Um, I made a Christmas version uh, that I'm going to give away as a gift. So I just, you know, having fun with that. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll be making a video about the purse file and everything in the next video. So I'll see you all in the next one. Love you all.